everybody. So today I'm going to be filming 14, that was not 14, 14 things I didn't expect when I got my braces off. So if you watch my channel, you will know that I had braces. I got my braces off. There's a video. If you want, you can go and watch it. And there was a few things that happened where I was like, okay, I was not expecting that. So I thought I would film this video to help some of you out if you have braces right now or you're getting your braces off. And hopefully this kind of makes you aware of some things that might happen because they happened to me because I didn't expect them to happen, if that makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> and I would also just like to apologize for my lack of uploading. I have been so busy with work, literally, I've just been working every day. And if you work in retail, you know how hectic it is leading up to Christmas. And I've literally had no spare time and I'm borderline going insane. So anyway, this is 14 things I didn't expect when I got my braces off. Let's go. Alrighty, so I've written them down in notes. Also, you're probably wondering why I have a different phone when I film what's on my iPhone 10. Long story short, I ended up returning my iPhone 10 because I didn't like it. Now I have the 8 Plus and I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with my choice. Anyway, <laughs> so number one. So the first one I put first because it's something that everyone talks about, everyone mentions it, and it is 100% true, and that is how slimy my teeth felt. Whenever I told someone that I was getting my braces off, they'd be like, oh my God, like your teeth are gonna feel so slimy. And yes, they did. But the weird thing was, it literally only lasted like three seconds. The first three seconds that I run, run? The first three seconds that I ran my tongue, why can't I speak? In the first three seconds when I ran my tongue along my teeth, it felt so slimy. I'm gonna explain how it feels and it's probably gonna come across really weird and none of you probably understand what I'm trying to say, but if you do, this is exactly how it feels. So you know in like rivers and lakes how there's rocks and if you've ever climbed on the rocks before, usually they have like moss over the top of them and it's like that slippery green stuff. That's how your teeth feel. Yes, I literally just compared my teeth to mold on a rock, but that's how it feels. And I don't know if any of you know what I'm talking about, but if you do, that's exactly how it feels. And I thought it would last like a week, but it literally, that feeling only lasted for like three seconds. This is something that I also really, really didn't expect. And in fact, I actually expected the opposite. And that was that my teeth actually looked really white. And if any of you watched the video where I got my braces off, like my first thing was, Oh my god, my teeth look so white. I'm about to see my teeth. Oh my god, they look so white. <laughs> and it's so weird because I thought they were gonna look yellow, brown, just not nice, but they actually looked really white. And I think that's probably because I was so used to having my clear braces on and they were probably like a tiny little bit stained or discolored. So that's probably why when I got them off, they looked a lot whiter than I thought they did. I don't know if they're still white. I don't know. <laughs> really strange because I thought they would look less white, but they looked more white, which is a good thing. So I'm not complaining. So if you were stressing, and I always see comments of people being worried that their teeth are not gonna be white when they get them off, don't worry, like your teeth are gonna look amazing, I promise, so don't stress. Your teeth are gonna look amazing, and I promise. And if they don't, I give you permission to come to my house and hit me in the face. Please actually don't do that, but yeah. <laughs> Next thing is something that I kind of expected to happen, but also, I kind of didn't want it to happen, and that was that my teeth and my kind of mouth area looked a lot smaller. I already have really small lips and just a really small mouth region. <laughs> so when I had braces and they kind of looked a little bit bigger, I was like, yeah, but now they're back to being small. When you get braces, it does kind of push out your lips a little bit. It gives you more of like a pouty look, I guess. And then when I got them off, it's disappeared, and now my lips are like... The next one is also something that a lot of people told me, but I didn't really know what they meant. That is that my teeth looked really big, and I'm pretty sure in the video where I got my braces off, the first thing my mum said was, your teeth look really big. And I was like, thanks mum. That is probably just because like half of your tooth surface area is covered with a metal bracket. So it's obviously gonna make your teeth look smaller. And then when you get them off, you can see more of that surface area of your teeth. So it just looks bigger. It's just cause you're not used to it. That feeling kind of went away after the first day. So don't worry. <laughs> the next one is something that I really actually didn't expect. And I'm actually kind of sad that this happened. But that is not that many people noticed that I got my braces off. I went to work the day I got my braces off. Literally like two people noticed. It's just that not that many people have noticed that I've had my braces off. And I don't know if it's because they just aren't saying anything or they literally haven't noticed. I don't know. Someone tell me. <laughs> the next one is probably the best thing and it's like the best thing about getting your braces off. And that is how good it feels to be able to eat without having to worry about getting food in your teeth. 
is like just the best thing ever, trust me. When you get your braces off, have every single food that gets stuck in your teeth because it is the best feeling ever. I can't even describe it. It is such a good feeling. It makes me so happy, it's so good. Next is... <laughs> I don't know what that was. This is something that is probably very individual to each person, but leading up to getting my braces off, I knew that I was gonna have to get impressions. So when you get your braces off, you get a set of retainers. Some people get retainers with the metal wire. Some people get clear retainers. Basically, it's when they get this putty stuff and they put it in your mouth. It has to go all the way back to your very back teeth. And it kind of goes down your throat a little bit and it makes you want to throw up. And leading up to getting my braces off, I was so nervous about this because I've heard from so many different people how bad it is and how like it makes them want to throw up. And if you know me in real life or just on this channel, you will know that I have a huge fear of vomit. So I just try to avoid every situation that could lead to vomit. <laughs> and when I have people telling me, you might vomit from this, <laughs> I was so nervous. But basically, I got it done and it wasn't bad at all. And the worst thing is I've had to have impressions literally five times because the first time I had them done, they weren't done properly. And then I had to do it again. Then I had to get new retainers the next day. So then I had to do it again. And then that one didn't work properly. So then I had to do it again. And then like two weeks later, I broke my retainer and then I had to do it again and then it didn't work. So I had to do it again. That was so many gains, but literally I've done it so many times and every time I've done it, it hasn't been that bad. So if you are getting impressions, don't be nervous. I think one of the keys is to just be relaxed and be calm. Inhale, exhale, you'll be fine, I promise. The next one is something that I actually do all the time to this day, and that is, let me show you, I'll get it up on my phone. That is using the Snapchat filter that makes your teeth look really big. This one here. I find myself using this all the time just to show off my teeth. Like, if every filter fails, this is my go-to. And I just love showing off my teeth now because I've had braces, I don't know. Next one is about retainers. I didn't expect how high maintenance retainers are. As you can see, these are my retainers and I don't really wanna put them too up close because they're really gross. But basically, I didn't realize how disgusting and gross retainers get. I thought, oh, they're just pieces of plastic that you put in your teeth, they're not gonna get dirty, you don't need to clean them, no. <laughs> Retainers get so gross and dirty. Like literally I was thinking, oh, they're just pieces of plastic. These aren't gonna be an issue. No, <laughs> they really are an issue and they're really hard to keep clean and they're really hard to maintain. And yeah, <laughs> I love them, but I also hate them. The next one is also about retainers and that is I didn't realize how fragile and easy to break they were. As you can see, these are three retainers boxes. I got my braces off literally a month ago and I have three sets of retainers. The first set of retainers are the first ones that I had. And then this was my other retainer. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a huge split down it. I didn't realize how easy they were to break. And if you are getting retainers, make sure you're looking after them properly. Make sure you're taking them off properly because I'm pretty sure my first ones broke because I was only taking it off from one side then pulling it from the other side. So make sure you, when you get retainers, you look after them, you keep them in the box. No one can stand on them. Your dog can't get them. You can't lose them. Just make sure you look after them because they're so fragile. <laughs> Next one is also so crazy and I didn't really expect this and that is how quickly you forget what it was like having braces. Literally after four hours of getting my braces off, I was so used to not having braces and now I've kind of forgot what it was like and that's why I'm so, so glad that I documented it all. That's why if you have braces right now, I would 100% recommend taking pictures, taking videos, even if you don't upload them on YouTube, just film little videos so you can look back on it because I am so glad that I did that because it's so nice to look back on even now after a month like I go back and look and I'm like oh my god my teeth look like that it's so crazy because you do honestly forget what it was like and it's just really nice to have that documented now on to the next one and that is that when I first got my braces off my teeth actually really hurt and they felt really sensitive when I would brush my teeth I'd kind of get like a little pain in my tooth and it's it kind of feels like, you know when you bite into something really cold and it hurts your tooth? That's what it feels like and it's not a nice feeling and I kind of had that for the first week. I don't know if that's just me that experiences that, but I didn't expect my teeth to hurt, but they kind of did a little bit. So yeah, they don't hurt anymore, they feel perfectly fine, but the first week they felt a little bit sensitive. So if you are getting your braces off, I would probably recommend buying a sensitive toothpaste 
just to use during the first week because they can be quite sore and sensitive. So definitely do that. Take my advice because my teeth hurt quite a bit. The next one is so good. I also love this one and that is how easy brushing is. When you have braces, it is so hard to brush. You have to go in all these weird angles. So you have to like go like diagonal and like go underneath the brackets. And the first time I brushed my teeth when I got my braces off, I was like, oh my God. It's honestly one of the best feelings. All you have to do is you literally get your toothbrush and just go do 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 all across and then you just go do 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 underneath and you're done. I don't know if anyone else feels that way or if it's just me, but I definitely feel like brushing my teeth is so much easier. And I also feel like my teeth are getting so much more of a better clean, so yeah. That's good. Whoop, whoop. The last one is something that I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't know, probably a bit of both. That is when I got my braces off, I thought it would make such a dramatic difference. Like when I got my braces off, I was expecting to be like a new Emma, braceless Emma. But weirdly, I feel the same. I feel the exact same as I did with braces. Obviously I have straight teeth now, but besides that, I feel the exact same. It weirdly, didn't really change anything. Physically, it changed my teeth, but like mentally and like everything else, nothing really changed. And I'm about to get really deep here and I don't know if this is gonna make sense to anyone else, but it was kind of eye-opening to me that physical changes don't really make changes on your actual life. Besides having straighter teeth, nothing's really changed. Everything's the same. And I think that's really eye-opening because there's so much more to life than physical changes. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's not really a bad thing. I just, I don't know, but I hope that makes sense. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to get at, but yeah. <laughs> That is the end of this video. I ended this video on such a weird note, but yeah Thank you so much for watching if you got to this point. It means absolutely everything to me So thank you so 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 much. I love you all to absolute pieces if this video helped you in some way I'm happy if this video didn't help you. I'm sorry <laughs> Also another thing I am thinking of changing my YouTube name as you all know my YouTube name is Emma Louise and Emma Louise my first name's Emma my middle name's Louise I've kind of realized that I kind of want to change my YouTube channel name to my actual real name, which is Emma Harvey. And I have a few reasons for this. And one of the biggest ones is when I was at work, someone that watched my videos came up to me and they were like, oh my God, are you Emma Louise? And for a second, I literally had to think like, wait, Emma Louise, because I never used that name outside of YouTube. It was just weird hearing someone say it in real life. And I think I'd rather go by my real name, which is Emma Harvey, and it's a lot less confusing And I feel like it's more personal to myself So let me know if you think I should change my name to Emma Harvey or keep it as Emma Louise I don't know, but basically I was thinking that because also my Instagram and my Twitter is my real name My biggest thing is if I change it to Emma Harvey, no one's gonna know who I am <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, let me know. I'm curious. I love you all so much See you in my next video. If you want to watch my next video, I hope you all have a lovely week. Bye guys. Mm.